bioaccumulation of hydrocarbon, heavy metals and minerals in Tempanodonis fuscatus from coastal region of Bayelsa State, Nigeria. This article is written by three authors. First author Emmanuel Inagamba from Department of Biological Sciences, Faculty of Science, Niger Delta University, Wilberforce Island, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Second author Sylvester Chibuzizov from Department of Biological Sciences, Faculty of Science, Niger Delta University, Wilberforce Island, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Last author Irape Diamonabo from Department of Biological Sciences, Faculty of Science, Niger Delta University, Wilberforce Island, Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study documents bioaccumulation of heavy metals, minerals and hydrocarbon on the tissue and shell of two varieties of Tempanodonis fuscatus from brackish coastal region of Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Tempanodonis fuscatus is found in mangrove swamps of the coastal region of the Niger Delta Nigeria. It's a source of protein, hence is used in the preparation of delicacies. This study investigated the bioaccumulation of hydrocarbon and heavy metals and minerals in T. fuscatus varadula and T. fuscatus var fuscatus from the brackish coastal region of Bayelsa State, Nigeria. Standard analytical methods were employed. Results showed that the concentration of the metals and hydrocarbon were highest in the shell. The concentration of calcium, magnesium, nickel, cadmium, chromium, Mercury and total hydrocarbon content ranged from 10.717 to 14.533 mg kg, 6.447 to 8.800 mg kg, 0.0480.823 mg kg, 0.01020.036 mg kg. 0.0200.023 mg slash kg, 0.0120.002 mg slash kg and 0.0620.767 mg slash kg respectively. There was a significant difference, P0.05 in the concentration of metals and hydrocarbon between the two varieties. The concentration of cadmium and mercury were below the limit to cause diseases as reported by the World Health Organization. Similarly the concentrations of nickel, chromium and hydrocarbon in the tissue were also low. High concentration of magnesium and calcium indicated their potential for health benefits. Furthermore, the high concentration of heavy metals and hydrocarbon in the shell of both species also suggested their potentials for bioremediation for such toxicants in the aquatic ecosystem. Thanks for watching this video of PAC Publishing Group of International Journal of Hydrology Research Volume 1 Issue Number 1.